Hey guitar friends, welcome to All About Guitar Academy. Today we're going to talk about bar chords. This is going to be a quick lesson. It's especially helpful, I believe, for beginning guitarists or guitarists that are over 50, like me, who might be struggling with making those bar chords sound just right, or if this is the first time you've ever attempted it, I'm hoping this is going to help you. So grab your guitar, get your pick, and let's get started. Can you play an E major chord? If you can, this is gonna help out a lot. I'm gonna put the chord chart on the screen for E major, and I'll play the chord. Okay, and the standard way that, or traditional way that people learn to play E major is with their index finger, or finger number one here on fret number one of string number three. I wanna encourage you to try it the way that I teach it, which is finger number two, on fret number one of string number three, and then place finger number three on fret two of string five, and then your pinky, or finger number four, on string four, fret two, and play the E major like this. That leaves our index finger, or finger number one, available to play the bar. So playing a bar chord simply means I'm gonna cover all the strings of a fret with my index finger. So let's go back to that E major. Okay, and let's say we wanna play an F major. So if I'm in E major, all I've gotta to do to create an F major is find that F note on the fretboard. And that F note is right here that I'm looking for. It's on string six, fret number one. So I'm gonna slide my E major up to the next fret, and then I'm gonna bar that first fret just like this with my E major pattern, and I'm gonna play all six strings. You'll also notice that my thumb is not up high on the back of the net, neck. If you watch some of my teachings, you'll see that I'm always telling you to keep your thumb up here. That is primarily for basic chord patterns. For bar chords, we wanna keep our thumb Back here behind the neck, it's really good to put it right about the same place where your index finger is in that same area because that's going to give you some more leverage to press down on all six strings. So there's my F major. So I'll, I'll recap that again. E major, slide up a fret, bar it, and now we're on F major. Okay, and if you know where your G note is, it's a whole step up on the fretboard, so we're up on fret number three of string six. That's my G note. That's where I'm gonna bar my G major chord, and I'm simply gonna put that E major finger pattern right here on the frets below my finger number one. And that's G major. So if I started that again, I went E major, F major, G major, it looked like this. E major, F major, G major. Then A major is gonna be another whole step up to the A note right here, which is on string six, fret number five. I'm gonna bar that fret, and I'm gonna play the E major chord pattern. Now I'm playing A major, okay? B major would be another whole step up. C major is gonna be a half step up. And then D, another whole step. And then E, and then so on. It continues on from there. So E major, F major, G major, A major, and so on. If you can play that E major the way I showed you, and then move that E major position over one string, that creates an A minor. We're not playing this low E note though, we're just playing these five strings. That's my A minor chord, the traditional basic chord pattern. Now if I wanna slide up to, let's say, a B minor, I gotta find my B note, which is right here, on the fifth string, second fret, and I'm gonna put my A minor chord pattern down here, and I'm gonna bar all five strings, because we're not playing string number six, we're just playing the five, and I'll even muffle this E string, this E note, with my 
index finger just a little bit. So now I've got B minor. Okay, C minor is going to be a half a step up because I know my C note is right here. So I'm going to borrow that fret number three where the C note is. Now I've got C minor. D minor is going to be up here on the fifth fret. If I want to check and make sure that that really sounds like a D minor, I can play the traditional D minor. Yep, it's a D minor. So I've got D minor up here. And I can continue that all the way up and down the neck of the guitar. Isn't that cool? Hey, I hope that helped you today. If it did, please remember to like and subscribe. I've got lots more YouTube videos coming out. And don't forget, you can get your free ebook right down here, all about guitaracademy.com. It's a free book, it's tailored for beginners and people over 50 like myself uh, that may have had an injury in the past, or you've been struggling to find the time to play the guitar, or you just want to get back to the basics. I cover seven essential guitar chords, they're very easy chords to learn. So get your free ebook and come back to the YouTube channel for more videos and keep on picking. Make sure you stay tuned for more coming up. All right, see ya.